Hey, hey, hello everyone. Welcome back. We're back with this duo, Max and Esther. They are going to get their friendship to the next level in this episode. I will not stop until they do. I hope you, my friends, are doing well. Virtual hugs. Welcome back. I'm virtually. We're doing the Wonder Child Challenge, taking advantage of the Parenthood game pack in hopes that these two will produce an heir that will be... Incredimus, we're going to be taking points. And as a matter of fact, while she does her gaming, um, she has to do a total of five hours of gaming right now. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to, I'm just going to fast forward this thing right here. Um, I wanted to talk strategy because I was on a few people's blogs and websites and they do a couple things that I think would be, oh look, let's pause. Mark has been promoted to Engagement Monkey. He will now make an additional $7 per hour for a grand total of $23 per hour. He also, he has also received the following bonus, $141. Check in at venue. Mm -hmm. His next shift is Tuesday at 9. I love this. He is amazing. Like, he already got promoted. Esther is... Esther is actually a little put off by it. Like, she's happy for him. But I would imagine that she's a little bit of a competitive spirit. So I'm sure she's wanting to be the first to get promoted. If, if, even if it is for the first time. So, um, as soon as our boy Max gets up, I just want to check on her. Oh, I'm going to have to pause for one second. Oh, oh. What happened? Mark is off to work? No! Oh, I really wanted him to work from home. I really, really, really wanted him to work from home. Achieve level four and four skills. We need to work on his skills. Update social media. He's already level two in charisma. All right, so let's... Let's have him um, research stories and we'll focus her, focus on her for a little bit. I'm going to actually pause the game playing for a second. Um, I think she's pretty close to it. We're going to go ahead and have her eat some grilled cheese. Uh, I believe Max made him for her a little bit ago. We're going to have her eat. We're going to have her use the restroom and let's talk strategy. So, um... I mentioned that I was on a few blogs and some of the strategies have to do with multitasking. And what that means is um, their kid will inevitably get to the point where they can multitask. They have to level up a certain skill set. So for example, if they level up to level nine on, um, on motor skills or on creativity um, while they play a video game they can get that skill set max to level 10 and their physical skill leveled up as well so there's a little bit of a trick to it um, and it's not cheatery because you you actually can multitask and I think what we'll do at some point is that one of these rooms is going to be a workout room with a TV in it so that they can learn skills while they're um, oh geek town this will be something that she'd really like to do I might send her there in a little bit. Um, go to work. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have to get an easel. Um, let's buy an easel now because we got that uh, We got that really cool uh, bonus trait from uh, bonus monies, simoleons from Max's leveling up. So let's see here. Let's get... Let's get an easel. I am loving this. Loving this. What am I doing in decorations? <laughs> All right. So I checked the easel out and they don't have enough. It's 350 simoleons. So they're, they're really short. Um, the other strategy is for the parents to actually work from home. And I think we're going to get up to a point where... Um, well, where they will be working from home. Um, I think what I would I was gonna do is I was gonna leave it at the way it is, have her continue to do work. Because I think once they start getting promoted, they're gonna work less and less. 
and um, I'm going to try and make it a point to have Max stay at home as much as he can, especially when they start having um, their kid. So she's going to go to work and hopefully this thing will fast forward enough so that we can um, shift paradigms. I don't know what that is, but let's check it out. Um, hopefully Max will come home soon and we can work on some of his stuff. And I'm very sad that, hello, hello, Maximus. Why don't you go to the restroom? Why don't you take a shower? Why don't you come over here and eat something? We can actually go to GeekCon and have him eat down there. Let's do that. Um, win a game of chess. Why not? Why not? The other strategy is that we're going to try to get them to perform as many whims as they possibly can because this will allow us to get um, the concoction in their, what do you call it, in their uh, reward store that will allow the kid to sleep less so that we can focus more time on the kid um, getting more traits because the more traits that they excel in and the more traits that they max and the better grades that they get, the more points we get for this challenge. So that's that's the game plan. So um, don't mean to be all stalkery up in his business. So I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward and we'll meet each other again at GeekCon. See you in a few minutes. We're back, she's in bed and I am, re oh, look at how he paints. He paints in his dapper threads. I mean, this guy does everything with class and pizzazz. Am I right? Buy a dishwasher. Um, we can't afford that right now. I'm sorry. Where are you going? I'm to the trash. Oh, is he done? I feel like I need to sell this. <gasps> Look at this, guys. We got another hundred bucks out of this. Oh, now she's flirty. Maybe she'll like it. Let's have them flirt a little bit. Oh, she's flirty. Will you be flirty, sir? She does like it. Um, let's do some more romantic things. Exchange numbers. Like they don't even live together. So look at the pink stuff. Ah, this is happening. He's like, listen here. This is my cell phone number. If you ever need me. I'll be right there, girl. I'll be right there. She's like, oh, yeah. Well, so will I. Listen, I have no degree of, oh, wait. There's more I want to do. Where are you going? There's more I want to do. Look at her. She's like, yes, this happened. More, more, more. Can you please, can you offer her a rose? Can you be super romantic? No, don't go to work. I say no, don't do it. Oh, <laughs> foiled by work. No, she needs to go to work for the love of God. But look at her. Oh, I am so upset right now. No, you can't flirt with coworkers. Jeez. I'm going to have her leave work early. No. <sighs> Damn my moral compass. Socialize with coworkers. Tell her about this beautiful specimen that's, what is he reading? He's doing something, whatever. We're gonna work on your painting then. You drive me bananas, sir. Oh, okay. Watch him just drop it in front of the garbage can. Look, <laughs> he's such a shyster. All right, whatever. I just can't with him right now. In this episode, he has been the biggest doofus. <laughs> let's do a confident, no, let's, classic paintings always seem to sell well. So I'm going to stick with what we know. And I'm just going to fast forward this part and hope to God that he levels. He's almost there. Hello, hello, my dear friends, virtual hugs. It's virtually, and look what I got in my queue. He was gonna practice charisma at the park because I needed mirrors and we can't afford mirrors right now. I know, it's lame, but it's true. Anywho, look at this. 
he gets a phone call from the one and only Esther and it says, hey, Mark, it's me. And you know she's using that sultry voice because, hey, it's Esther. And she goes, furthermore, do you want to go out on a date? And the shrieking llama. And I shrieked and I was like, hit record. I want my friends to see. Hopefully she shows up because that would be embarrassing if she doesn't show up. If she doesn't show up for this date, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to be mad at her for a very, very long time. <gasps> They're here. Oh, this is great. And he's in his, okay, let's, let's, um, let's change his outfits real quick. Uh, I want him to be like super, super, super dapper. Look at this outfit. Yes. Um, let's do an inside joke because he's going to be super suave like that. He's not going to try and pressure her or anything. And then, of course, he's going to be even more suave and he's going to say, Hey, I want to flirt with you. Oh, she loved it. Oh, they're so, so, so cute. And she wants to chat with him, so she's going to tell him a dramatic story, and then they're going to play games, and it's going to be like, you know, super cash. You guys, that didn't work. Look, their relationship got really, really awkward. Oh. Why? Uh, look at their relationship. It's awkward. Oh, we went 10 steps backwards. All right, so I'm going to take him to this lounge because I feel like the lounge will, um, it's a romantic atmosphere and I have a feeling that they'll be able to repair their relationship anyway. That's the hope. So let's give this another shot. I'm already failing this challenge and the baby isn't even born. <sighs> All right, guys, this may be it. This may be it. Fingers crossed. I've worked so hard. In the bathroom is where it happened. <laughs> Oh, look, but their friendship went way down. They're just so, so awkward. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to have her, him um, ask to be girlfriend. Because I think it's time for them to just get together. It's been so awkward. And... All right, boyfriend and girlfriend it is. We're going to work on some stuff. We're going to work on some stuff. First, we're going to work on eating, I guess. <laughs> and um, they're going to celebrate by eating some grilled cheese because that's that's the way couples do in The Sims. Clearly, you're a terrible and inconsiderate neighbors. You, sir, with a ponytail, don't understand the work that we've put into this. Um, and now, finally, they are finally... Finally, it's been awkward. It's been a wild ride, but finally together. Anywho, I appreciate you guys staying the course with me. I really wanted this to happen, obviously. I think I pushed them too hard, uh, but now we can take it a little bit easier. So uh, I'm just going to send this poor guy to the restroom so he won't pee on himself. All right, my friends, we are at a stopping point soon. And basically what I want to do is I want to recap where we are. Um, well, it's filthy in the hallway. That's one thing. I think what I want him to do is I really want him to level up his charisma. So I'm going to have to have him practice speech for a little bit. Um, I want to show you guys where we are as far as skills are concerned and uh, work progression. So we know that Max leveled up a couple times today and promoted a couple of times in this episode, which has been wonderful. Um, he's been able to get his mischief skill to level three. He's also been able to work, asked him to like perform five comedic acts on random people in town. And so that was stressful for him, but he got that accomplished. The only thing he can't get accomplished is get playful without the mood lamp. 
it's been hard to do and i've been trying to get him to like tell people jokes and things like that and it hasn't it hasn't worked so if you have any ideas oh it says here um ooh, taking a bubble bath we may may have to incorporate that somehow huh okay that's good to know maybe i'll get them a bathtub shower thingy and maybe that'll work that way maybe he can get playful that way and then I have to have him level up Charisma um, by one skill point. And so that's what he's trying to do right now. As far as his Renaissance skills go, um, he has to achieve one more level four. And I think if we look at his level Q, um, the next thing, I guess we could choose any of these things. Um, logic is probably the closest to leveling. So we may have to either go to the observatory in the park or maybe in the, um, um, where am I thinking? There is a geek con. They also have an observatory or two that we could probably play in or play, continue to play chess. So that might level him up. And that is where he's at as far as this goes. Um, as far as Esther is concerned, their friendship went down a little bit because of that awkward fiasco that we had going on at the pub. She just came to talk to you. You're so rude. He's like, yeah, I'm going to go to bed first. Um, let's just do that. And then um, let's just talk about Esther for a little bit. Tell you where she's at. As you can see, her needs queue is doing pretty okay. And um, her skills, she, she was pretty green. But her video gaming and programming are really high because of work. Now, she really needs to get going where her, um, sorry, I just got a pop-up on my screen. She really needs to get going where her video games are concerned. And what I will tell her, tell you that her computer whiz is asking for her to maintain her focus. And we know that if she does a little bit of Simpedia uh, searching, that she will get that focus mood light. And we may can um, continue that focus mood while she's playing video games. So that is what I'm going to do next. And what I'll do is I'll have her give it a go. And then I'll be right back with you and let you know how she accomplished that, okay? All right, guys. So she got her milestone complete. Let's take a look at it. Oh, that's the store. Wrong thing. Um, so in her second milestone, she got her level three programming skill, 3,000 worth of electronics, and focus for two straight hours. So our strategy worked. I'm really excited. Now, she needs to become an adult. Is she an adult already? Or does young adult count? Ooh, I don't know how old she is. Ooh, all right, time to think about this. Uh, reach level three of the tech guru career, which she doesn't even have level two, I don't think. And make a video game or an app. So we're gonna try for an app. Um, she's at level one in her career. So this is going to take a little bit longer. And um, so what we're going to do is we're going to um, look at her skill sets here. She's still doing pretty good. Maybe what I'll do is I'll start her on making that app program. Because at least that'll give us some money when she's done with it. Um, all right, guys. So that is the status report. We are doing really, really well. We still have a long way to go. And what I'm hoping is that as long as they get to level two in their career, they can start trying for a baby. But in the meantime, I still want to really focus. Oh! Mark's boss was disappointed with the work he did from home. He made zero dollars. This isn't good. Oh, no. And now her computer's broken. All right, guys, um, I think what I'm going to have her do is repair it. She's focused. Hopefully she won't get electrocuted. I'm very scared. Why do they do that? Why do they? I'm going to save this just in case. Um, I'm really nervous that something's going to happen right now. So I'm going to save that and put that in there. Oh my goodness, pray for this child. Hey, I heard you became friends with Mark Edwards. He's pretty cool. They not only became friends, my dear, Jay Huntington III. They are an item. They really are. And I'm hoping she won't get electrocuted. All right, guys, enough's enough. For today, we've done really, really well. 
we've accomplished most of our goals. And I appreciate all of the feedback that you guys have given me. I've gotten some really, really great strategy um, and notes from some of you that have already done the Wonder Child Challenge. I'm excited about it. So anywho, Max is up. Esther has fixed her computer. She's going to continue with her plug-in. And in the meantime, I'm going to say virtual hugs. Take care, and I'll talk to you super soon. Bye-bye.